Stuart 10H and score baseboard dimensions part 21 accurately positioning all parts of the 10H and score steam plants on the bench to get the measurements for the smaller plants with the 501 boilers this will allow me to accurately fit the components on the other two baseboards the only real difference between these two plants is actually the engines and of course the associated piping that I can't do until I mount them on the baseboards. I'm currently showing the 10H steam plant which has an integral crankshaft driven water pump. And here is the water pump bypass valve back to the water tank. Nothing that's difficult to understand here. If you close the valve all of the water gets pushed into the boiler. If you open the valve instead of that it returns to the water tank. And if you partially open the valve, that will regulate the amount of water that's put into the boiler, which will match the steam consumption of the engine. Here's a shot of the water pump, and as you can see, it's driven by an eccentric fitted to the crankshaft. The water enters the pump via the bottom union. There's a ball valve inside, which lifts as the piston pulls the water into the pump. I'm pointing at the water outlet, this again has a ball valve which opens when the piston compresses the water in the chamber. The water can't go back into the tank because of the other ball valve, so instead it's pushed into the boiler. Via the boiler's check valve, which is also fitted with a ball. This prevents any back pressure to the pump. The threads on the water pump are quite coarse, but luckily with the engine came a T-piece and some piping. I can't reuse the piping, but I can reuse the T-piece. The thread on the bypass valve is quarter by 40 threads per inch, so all I have to do is solder a union on the end of that pipe, which has a quarter by 40 union nut. And by the word solder, I'm referring to silver solder, not soft solder. Here I'm pointing at the quarter by 40 threads, and you can see they're a lot finer. Here's the water inlet, which will take a 5 30 seconds of an inch diameter pipe, just the same as the bypass valve and the piping from the T piece to the check valve on the boiler. And all this piping will need to be made to go around the back of the engine and eventually arrive at the inlet and outlet of the water pump. A piece of 5 30 seconds of an inch pipe, very similar to this one, will carry the water from the T piece up to the check valve. I'll be able to use all of these parts with the exception of the actual pipe itself. This is a short video because apart from the engine, everything else is in the right position. The water tank is identical with the exception of the bypass valve because this engine does not have a crankshaft driven pump, so therefore it doesn't need a bypass valve. Instead, I fitted a plug into the tank should anyone wish to modify it at a later date. This engine uses a Stuart water pump. The pump itself has a very small ram that pumps the water. So why does it have such big fittings? And why is it so big anyway? I don't know, but it's a traditional Stuart water pump. They're quite sought after, and that's the one I'm going to use on this plant. Time now to do a bit of measuring. First of all, I put a steel rule level with the end of the boiler, but the writing on this small rule is too small and I can't see it. So instead, I'm using a retractable tape measure like this one. I can read this okay. The first dimension is the width, and it's exactly the same for the score as it is for the 10H. And similarly, the length is exactly the same for both of these steam plants, so that's good. I now need to buy some baseboards. I found an eBay seller whose advert says he makes baseboards from solid oak in any size, so I put in an order. These were the original dimensions that I thought would be good. I messaged the seller, but he said he couldn't do 34 centimeters, as the capacity of his machine width-wise was only 31 centimeters. I messaged him back and said instead of 34 centimetres, 31 centimetres would be fine and I'm awaiting a reply so I can put the order in. 
And I can't say much more in this video. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.